all the way down there. Amazing. Well, let's go check it out. We're in wagon number nine. The rain hasn't stopped. Welcome back everybody. So we're leaving Vegas on our way to the Grand Canyon. It's been great in Vegas, had a good time. Seen the sights, haven't gambled, but uh, it's all good. Right, we'll pick you up at the Hoover Dam, which is where we're gonna stop off on the way. Catch you there. There's Lake Mead in the distance. It doesn't actually look that high and I thought it would be higher. All right, everyone, we're at Hoover Dam over there. We're gonna wander down there and check it out. Okay, so we're just walking along the edge and here's the spillway uh, for when Lake Mead is high, which obviously hasn't been for a long, long time. And so all the water comes gushing over the top here and then goes down that massive, massive tunnel down there. It's just the scale of this thing. It's not, the video is not gonna do it any justice but the scale is insane. And to get this high, there's two spillways, there's one on the other side there as well. But the lake is so low, you can see the bleach line where the water should be and how far down it is. And that's with record rainfall as well. All right, let's check out the top of the dam. Okay, so here's the sign that's just saying, if you're seeing water flowing over this spillway, you're witnessing a historic event. The last time water came over was 1983. And there's a picture of it gushing over 1983 that's how bad the situation is now and lake mead is the largest man-made lake in the united states incredible it's so low i'm sure it's been lower than this <laughs> but the water's nice and clear looks good to swim in it's very low as you can see those pontoons should be floating. And there's the other spillway over there. So we're going crossing from Arizona here to Nevada here. Took four years to build, 1931 to 1935. Everyone enjoying the cooling stations. Because <laughs> it's about 40 degrees centigrade. All right, here we go. This is it. That is incredible. What a sight. The water bubbling out of there. The camera cannot be doing this justice. That they could build this thing back in the 30s. I have to look up how many people, how many lives were lost. Amazing. Just one last shot, all the way down there. Amazing. Thoroughly recommend coming to check out Hoover Dam. All right, everyone, bring you back for Grand Canyon. That's the gigantic, one of the gigantic spillways to bypass the turbines. It hasn't seen water since 1983. That is a grand scale. All right, so we're off again, left uh, Hoover Dam. We're now driving out of it. We're gonna go over the massive bridge and it's raining, check it out. Which I think they'll be happy about because it's a hundred degrees out there. Okay. All right, everyone. Anne is camera woman at the moment, camera person. It's chucking down with rain. It's grim outside, but it's cooled it down a little bit. So we're going over this gigantic bypass and if you could just pan forward and show everyone the bypass how much you can see and you can't see anything left I think that's deliberate that's the uh, bridge going over the Hoover Dam and I guess it's at the exit from Lake Mead all right everyone we will bring you back uh, closer towards the Grand Canyon 
and the glamping campsite that we're going to be staying at for the night. All right, welcome back everybody. Here we are, just arriving at the uh, glamping site where we're going to be staying by the Grand Canyon in our wagon. Um, so we'll bring you back from the actual wagons that we're glamping in. It's rained the entire way here lightly and it's still raining. So you never know, we might have camping in the rain. Right, I'll bring you back from our, uh, what's it called, wagon. All right, so here we are, we're at our, our wagon and it's just going in. Let me just put this in wide angle so you can see it all. And we are in this glamping resort that's middle of nowhere. But let's go check it out. We're in wagon number nine. Let's see what this is like. Wow. Oh, it's insulated. Looks nice. Look at this, everyone. Anne's already checking out all the facilities. Massive bed. That's a huge bed. So we've got a California, California bed. We've got everything you need. Water, air conditioning. What else we got? What's in here? Toilet and shower. Cool. And this is some sort of insulated, double layer insulated fabric with some foam, foam in here as well. Sort of welcome kit, things like that. Teas, coffees, an espresso machine. It, absolutely excellent. Glamping. Cool, so we're gonna get our stuff in, get unpacked. We haven't got much stuff with us at all. One thing to note is there's no hanging space here. We've just bought a day, a day bag with us. Um, and I think it will be beer o'clock. We've got dinner booked. Um, we might go for a walk, there's horses, there's bison. So I'll bring you back for that. So we're down at the farm, the ranch, I should say. Got all the horses with us. We've got a couple of young, young ones here. Very young, very little. I think they belong to the two mums in the background there. Don't you? A little doggy to help us around as well. Hey. Right. So we're going to carry on, go around the ranch. Uh, we'll probably bring you back for dinner. Um, the Grand Canyon is over there. It's on to get to it, you have to go through Indian National Reserve to get to the Skywalk. So we're going to have to take a bus in the morning, but we got a helicopter trip in the morning as well. So that'll be great. Just over there, we'll be very quick on the helicopter. But we'll bring you back for dinner, see how dinner is tonight. They're gonna to bring it to the wagon. Um, should be nice. I've got a couple of beers with me, but they do serve drinks here as well. Um, but yeah, wagon's nice, place is nice, got a ranch. I'd recommend it. It's chilled out, you're in the middle of nowhere. It's got Wi-Fi if you wanna be connected. Um, but it's a cool place. All right, bring you back later when we're having dinner. So we've got some bison here as well. They're a little bit skittish, so I'm gonna to go to them slowly, but they're right here. You can hear them breathing. It's okay. They're shedding their winter coat. They're very nervous. I don't know if they're always nervous. There's some youngsters in there as well. So yeah, bison, amazing. But they're not aggressive at all. They're just more nervous. Oh, comes the little one. Come on then, hey. Oh, and a big, big boy's coming now. I've got the, the baby here. They're coming over to see, uh, to see what's going on. Come on. The baby is very inquisitive. Let me put this on wide for you. There you go. Hey. 
How are you doing? Hello, 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 hello. I'm getting, they're staring at me now because I'm going near the baby. Anyway, right, I'll bring you back at dinner. Welcome back everybody. Okay, it's a little bit later now. The rain hasn't stopped. In typical Tony fashion, I don't know if you can hear it. So I have to apologize. I haven't got any filming equipment with me at all. Just my phone. No microphones, no big camera, nothing. What I do have though is a beer for beer o'clock. So cheers everybody. Dinner hasn't come yet, but I need a beer. Cheers, thanks for coming. And sorry for the shortness of this video. Now, for those of you who don't know, Anne hates being on camera. So she's actually next to me, but she won't be on film and you probably won't hear from her. Uh, and that's her prerogative. So the wagon is cozy, very warm, very comfortable. We've got heating and cooling down here with the aircon, all the facilities you need. Now all I need is dinner and I wish I'd bought a cigar so I could have had cigar time. Not this time. All right, bring you back at dinner, everyone, I'll show you what the food is like. All right, so dinner's just arrived. Uh, I guess there was a bit of a communication error. Um, I ordered steak, assuming it came with something, and I've got a steak with nothing else in it. Just a steak. And Anne ordered uh, some veggies, and so she's got all the veggies. So, grilled veggies. So I guess I'm going to have some of Anne's veggies with my, with my steak. I think you've got to be very clear when you order what it is you want to have. But steak looks good. So, and it's nothing fancy. It's plastic cutlery. Oh, there is actually, oh, there is a metal knife in there though for the steak. All right, it's, it's nothing fancy at all. So uh, be prepared for that. But otherwise, it looks great. So that's going to be dinner. I'll bring you back later. Welcome back, everybody. I've got to be quiet because we've got neighbors. Um, I've had dinner, I've had a fire outside, chatted with the neighbors. We've got a lovely brazier here. Nice and hot. The owner of the resort came and lit that for us. Right, it's cold now, so time for bed. Cabin's all ready, catch you at bedtime. Well, welcome back everybody, and it is now morning. I completely forgot to record at bedtime because I was so exhausted. Great night's sleep, just awesome. And it's a beautiful day here at the Grand Canyon. If you can make it out. Not a cloud in the sky. Uh, just had a shower. Last night it was cold here, really cold. And I had the heating cranked uh, just before going to bed. Oh, warmed up the place so quickly, the wagon. And it, it kept it because it's got this insulation. So yeah, Anne's, Anne's in the shower. I'll just... Yeah. I'm sure she wouldn't appreciate that. So she's having a shower now. It's a great shower. Very hot water. I've got my coffee on the go. If you're a tea drinker, like an English breakfast tea, then you might have to bring your own. There's no fridge here, so don't bother bringing milk or anything. There's no way to keep it. Um, yeah, so bed, super, super comfy. It's memory foam mattress. Never slept on one before. I've got a bad back. This thing was incredible. So I'm gonna look, be on the lookout for these. Um, we've got a helicopter tour this morning. Got breakfast on the way shortly. So I'll show you what breakfast is like. Um, hopefully it's better than dinner. Um, God bless him, it was just a communication error, I guess. So, yeah, see you at breakfast. So, breakfast. Uh, what have I got? Pancakes, maple syrup. It's a cup read. And scrambled eggs and toast. Awesome. Right, bring it back for a helicopter trip. 
you know, it's only just occurred to me that anyone knows me, I always have pancakes and I always make a mess of them. And these are perfect American pancakes. Maybe I should ask them for tips. Just having our drinks, just waiting for the helicopter pilot. So we'll go for a wander, see the, uh, see the animals again. There's camp, just in case I didn't show it properly yesterday. And it's still a work in progress. It's only a year old. See the helicopters, see all the horses, the paddocks. All this construction equipment is because they're, they're laying the road, building these teepees, building these huts. It's a big setup. And yeah, they're just not there yet. Um, but I'd say within a year, this would be fully done, ready to go. At full disclosure, I paid for this myself. They didn't know I was a YouTuber. I can't remember what it's called, Grand Canyon Cl Glamping Resort. Um, but I was talking to the people in the, in the wagon next to us <clears throat> and they loved it. Great stay, comfy bed as well. So it's, it's a brilliant spot. And you're only three miles from the skywalk. If you're doing the skywalk, we're not, we're just going to be doing the helicopter tour. Yeah. So again, bring you back for the helicopter. All right. So pilot has just done pre-flight check our helicopter and down there with the crew and um, I think we're almost ready to take off so bring you back for takeoff is this anybody's Can first ride on a helicopter besides me yes, <laughs> and we're gonna have some fun I got some other things that'll make this even more fun for you <laughs> <laughs> yes I've done this once or twice before <laughs> and fuel
That was amazing. Great time. A great fun. We'll just film these guys taking off and I'll bring you back. That was amazing. Definitely, definitely recommend that. We saw the uh, sky bridge, the skywalk. So what I'll do is in, in the video, I'll just put different clips of what we're looking at. And you saw the rafting down there. You saw the skywalk, saw oh, so much. It was amazing. And the pilot made us close our eyes, but he didn't make us. He asked us to close our eyes. So that bit where you saw us drop into the canyon, we opened our eyes and just suddenly saw it. Again, amazing. Anyway, we're done here now. It's been great. We've really enjoyed staying here. Uh, I'm going to bring you back on the road after we've packed up and uh, headed off and let's back to Vegas. Okay, we're ready to go. Truck's all packed up. Say goodbye to our little uh, wagon that was amazing. Uh, I, look, I thoroughly recommend this. Um, you know, look at what you've got. For the price, I think this was $300 for the both of us for a, a wagon. I mean, it's an insulated glamping tent with air conditioning, solar power, uh, coffee making, everything you need. Uh, for 300 bucks, you're off the ground. You don't have to worry about creepy crawlies. There's the occasional friendly dog that comes to say hello. You've got fire pits. So they're, they're constructing a lot here. There's gonna be a restaurant, a uh, proper restaurant here. Uh, they're, build, they're starting building that now and you can do the helicopter tour. Would I do the skywalk after seeing what I've seen? No, I would do the helicopter tour. The helicopter tour was 300 bucks. Uh, that was for the two of us, it was 150 each. The skywalk gets close to that when you factor in everything. And to be honest, you won't see anything. You saw the skywalk on the video. It's just a tiny fragment. You go up in the helicopter, you see so much, you go lower. Uh, that was well worth it, honestly. So if you're gonna visit the Grand Canyon, uh, and you want to stay overnight and glamp a bit, do a bit of tenting. This is a good option, great option. Yeah, I recommend it. So I think it's called the Grand Canyon Glamping Resort. Uh, yeah, so for this, $300 at the time I filmed this. Again, I paid for this myself. $300 for the two of us. Um, and then it was another $300 to, she's going off again, to do a helicopter tour. So our pilot was Tom, uh, awesome pilot, ex-military trained in the army with Huey helicopters. That maneuver you saw at the end where we're tilting side to side, I mean, he's talking to us, you couldn't hear it. He was showing us uh, how they evade missile fire and stuff like that and follow the terrain. Um, and also you might have heard us counting down when we were heading over the Grand Canyon. That's because he said to us, why don't you all close your eyes? So you saw us flying into it, but we hadn't seen it. So our eyes were all closed. And then you heard everyone go, wow, oh my God, it's because we had our eyes closed and uh, you suddenly open them and you're over the Grand Canyon. It, it is spectacular. I recommend it. So give it a go. Anyway, guys, we're back off now. We're going to Vegas. Um, I'm gonna leave it here. You don't need to see Vegas and stuff like that. We're staying at the Encore. This is different to my usual videos. This is just a quick filler. You're gonna see me soon uh, when I get back to New Zealand where normal service resumes. Uh, got a lot to talk about. Got to talk about Brucey. Um, I'm gonna have Bruno with me. Uh, talk about my dad because I've got my dad's ashes as well. Uh, it could be an emotional one, but uh, we'll get through it and I'll see you back in New Zealand. Uh, but thanks for coming on this one. And Anne says thank you as well. She's tucked away in the car. You can't really see her. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's her interaction with this video. All right, everyone. Catch you soon on the next video from New Zealand uh, with AB Camping. <laughs>